Hi there, Plastic Junkie back in 2012 our third segment of Guess What? Thundercaps. Again, I have to do this again. I'm going to do another two more segments. I have to do five segments on this. I did my original one a long time ago in 2011 in March. This is my third segment of Thundercats. And we have again my buddy, Joe good Nerd. friend, Joe Nerd. He's a big G.I. Joe collector, big 80s collector, and he collects a few new stuff. But get this. He's different than all collectors. He buys it, mint on card, and opens it only if it's mint. It could be old, it could be new, it doesn't make a difference. He opened old figures that he's paid even a hundred dollars. Sacrilege! How disgusting. Oh my god. Right, anyway, well. No, no. No! We're just kidding. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. No, no, no. I would do the same thing like him. I'd rather buy a rare figure that I paid three hundred dollars and I will open it. And it's not sacrilege. It's mine. Not yours. Mine. I'm like kidding. Eddie Murphy well. in the Nutty Percent Professor. She wants me, not you, me! Plus Chucky! Okay, well, we well, only live once. You gotta enjoy right. your time. Agreed. Let's go. Word. Page All right. two. Show the, show the book first. Okay, who's number who's number one in page two? Alright. Link so. Link so. Comes with a shield, but I don't have him. I didn't pay much for him. This much. Five bones. And he's still. A, hold on. See? He's a Lynx. That's pretty unimpressive looking, but... Yeah, but you know what? He, he reminds me old of uh, the guy from uh, Karate Kid, the, the old man. Mr. Miyagi? Yeah. Really? But in, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, uh, no, I'm not trying to insult him. I think you're smelling oh. too much plastic. Oh, come on. That's fantastic. <laughs> Sniffing some pretty strong plastic. Yep. Three and a half stars. Cool. What's that, right. man? Mongor. Oh, Mongor. Huh. Right away. I know because he looks evil. He looks like the Satan. Or, because look. Basically, in, in old uh, lores of the of old times and witchcraft and everything, he was considered Satan. Legs of a goat, head of a goat, body of a goat. I uh, also mixed with um, a goat and something else, a demon. That's it. He has the grim the grim reaper, a grim grim reaper, oh, reaper. Grim reaper. reaper. What do you call these things again? It's uh, like a this. scythe. A scythe. A sight. He's a bad guy from the Evil Mutant. He still works. He's my third one I had. I sold one loose. No, not in great shape. For $5. I sold one complete for $30. And I have this one. Or for $20. And this one, I, I completed him. It took me a long time to find it. But actually, my friend actually gave it to him. Gave him to me. I know it's five. It's not because I like the devil. But it's just that this guy's cool. For a bad guy, he's weird. Half gold, half demon, or whatever. He's just fucking cool, man. He's cool. I like him. Alright, man, what's next? Monkeyan. Who? Monkeyan. Oh, okay, now I got him. You don't have to show me, I know who he is, right here. Show me his uh, picture, please. Okay, he's complete. He's got his. Um, it's like a morning maze. star. Morning star? I believe. This is called a morning star? I, I think it's a mace. So. No? It's a mace. A uh, chain, a no, chain I and ball. When you ball have and the chain. chain. I think they call it a morning star. Mm. Okay, well, he's got his helmet, he, he's a monkey. And he's got a morning star, I guess. If you if you think I'm wrong or right, oh, whatever. We'll, we'll put the subtitle script on it. Yeah. He has a purple uh, banda uh, ribbon on one on his right leg and his left arm, and w and a red one on his r left leg and right uh, right arm. Looks like the body sculpt for a human character. Yeah, he looks. Like he, uh, you know what does it? It's his posing. It's his crouch. He has the Masters of the Universe crouch. Mm. Yeah, but I like him. I give him a four and a half. Crouch or crotch? Uh, crouch. <laughs> Sorry. It's oh, okay. too easy. He's complete. <laughs> Next. All right. Mumra. Mumra. All right. Yes. Nice story on this one. When did we go to uh, the Jokon? Uh, the Jokon? Or yeah, the Joe Nerd. The Joe? The Jokon. Yes. Ooh. When oh. year was it? When you came with us, that was yeah. 2009. Good. 2009, me, Latin Joe, uh, the bald Chinese bastard, uh, well, he's my best friend. I like him. He's a really nice guy. Okay, okay. The Chinese bald guy. That's me. That's a bastard. little nicer. He's not a bastard. He's a nice guy. He's a really good... He loves uh, He-Man. He likes G.I. Joe. He likes a lot of vintage stuff like us. Uh, yeah. Also, and and uh, Joe Nerd, all, we all went together, waited seven freaking hours in the way cold. longer than the plastic junkie was just to get in line for the stupid exclusive of G.I. Joe I'm sorry 
my bad, to notice that there were repaints and it took me a long time to sell it. People gave me a hard time with that one. I never want to re regret, I regret that. The point of the story is this. I found them. You have to live and learn. For five dollars. No weapons, nothing. I go, how much is that figure? He goes, oh, it's five dollars. I'll take it. I had all the accessories. The helmet. The Sam Mario helmet. His thing that goes here to light up his eyes. Oh, and I said I would make him light up his eyes. Oh, it's next segment. We'll do that next segment. And his swords, all for seven years. Look at that. And he still works. I give him five. Uh, he's one of my favorite ones. Uh, what was the end of that story you were telling? What? Oh, well, I went, while I was in the show, I was looking around for vintage stuff, and I didn't... I, I'm sorry, I, I rambled. And I saw, I didn't see much, so I found him for $5, and I, I was so happy. It's like I was uh, as happy as a pig in shit, and rolling in mud. I, that's all I can say. I was so happy. For $5, it took me so long. Seven years, I hold all the weapons, all four of them, all the accessories. For seven years, I had it, just to complete them. Yes, that's patient. I have patience. I do. All right. This is a good Maybe one, too. Maybe in some instances you do. Oh, and yeah, there's a little one. See? No weapons, too. Hmm. Just his helmet. Cool, huh? Yep. Oh, yeah, and here is... What's his name again? Monkeyan. Monkeyan. He's the little guy there. Now, that's all the little guys. There's only one left after. That's going to be in segment four. All right. All right. Now you're going on to the mummified Mumra. Mummified Mumra. Mm. Story of him. 19... 91. I was in a flea market in Montreal, Quebec, near Trois-Rivières. It's called Three River in English. I paid him in its bag a dollar and fifty cents. I told him, could you give me a dollar? Hey, it's a dollar fifty. It's still in the package. Take it or leave it. That's what the guy told me. You mean it was sealed in the mailer yeah. baggie? And he was oh, really mad at me. He goes, one fifty. But take it or leave it. I'll take it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yeah. Here's your change. Asshole. He was mean to me. No, it's okay. It's an old man. Who cares? Who cares? Probably dead by now. This is the mail away. 1985. <laughs> Sorry. This was the mail away. Hey, I got kicked by a guy once in, uh, uh, picking up an apple out of his tree in the ass. And I never kicked him back. Oh, you pussy, man. I was four. I was eight years old, dumbass. Ah, uh, life lessons, man. Here's uh, Mumra, Mummified. I give it a four and a half. Yeah, his staff is there. He's cool. Not much articulation. Arms, and that's it. Not even the head. No, actually the head, yeah. And it's not really much of a figure. It's more like a... But nice detail. That's nice detail. What's next, man? Oh, now we're really getting into the good stuff. Panthro. Oh, oh Panthro. What a story. Last year, when I went to uh, TFCon, the guy had this in the package. The package was damaged, damaged, damaged. But look, the figure, dead mint. Does he smell? Still smells. You want to smell? No, it's okay. Okay. That's your stuff. Oh, smells vintage. I love it. I love it. You know... Look. Hmm? What's up? Not to interrupt, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I, I love the Panthro character, but uh, the figure, it could have been a little better. But yeah, it's it kind of looks gork dorky. Well... I don't know. He he does have the Masters of the Universe crouch going on. That, yeah, that, that's good. But he's smaller. Yeah, he should be a little bigger. I think. Yeah, I agree with oh, him. Oh well. He's a nice figure. I give him four and a half. I don't give him more than that. But look at the dead mint shape of it. It's just uh, phenomenal. What's next, man? All right, Pumira. Don't have one. Uh, well, I can show now you. Now wait a picture. second. I hope I'm pronouncing that yeah, right. Pumira, Pumira, Pumira. Because okay. Yeah. Here she is, Pumira. Uh, I actually sold her. I had three Pumira. of them. Pumira. Pumira. I had three of them on card. I sold them on the internet in 1990, between 93 and 96 for $100 each US. I got. Uh, yeah, I know. I kind of miss her. Next time I'll get her. Hey, Next. By the way, uh, anyone of you seen the new uh, Thundercat uh, cartoon series? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's excellent. Yeah. I'll pass. Oh, no. Trust me, uh, Plastic Junkie. You should check it out. It's really Nah, really old's good. better. What's next? Rataro. Oh, Rataro. A rat. A rat? Yeah. Hmm. Mutant rat. Hmm. <laughs> this uh, this samurai guy, rat. a samurai rat, he reminds me of two people. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Splinter, 
Not Splinter. What, Master Splinter, right? Yeah, yeah, Master Splinter. And he reminds me of a friend. That w- his name is Ratman. The Rat. Ratman. Do the Ratman. Rat, this is you. Ratman, this is you. This is for you, my friend. Okay. There's two. I repeat, two versions of him. This is the regular version with his silver daggers. Oops. He has a big rat tail. He stands pretty well. He has a little mustache. He looks uh, uh, Japanese. And this is the tan 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 the rare version. I paid him twenty-five dollars with one of his swords that has they're black with a blue with a blue eye right there. Look at that. Cool, huh? Yep. We only have one of them. But you know what? I don't care. I'm happy. I bought it. Uh, I don't give a shit. I'm so happy that I bought it. I, I, I don't regret buying him. For $25? Who cares, man? One sword? Who cares? What's next, man? Slive. Yay, Slive! One of his favorite ones. Here's a little Slive. Doesn't look good with the big one. Look, it doesn't... Totally different. Not the same colors. But look, it looks, it looks like he's holding his staff. Little Slive? No, oh, it smells so good. Yeah, I like the paint job in detail. On <sighs> this guy is one of my favorite ones. Yeah. I gave him right away a five. He's cool. His, uh, one of his, uh, uh, what do you call these things? Scales? No. Yeah, actually, fins, yeah. One no? of his, the scales on his back. No, it's not a, it's a fin. It's a fin. One of his fins. The scales are, uh, right. ask as, uh, acts as his battle action. I bought him a long, long, long time ago. And I've had this guy in my collection for literally, no joke, 15 years. Five, 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 five. He's cool. A cool, a cool evil mutant of the Thundercats. Wow, that was fun. Cool. That was my f- third segment of uh, Thundercats, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Next one's going to be number four. And uh, Plastic Junkie out. And like one of my subscribers says, stay plastic.